Chaitanyam pervades that thought. And the Chaitanyam also seems to have the form of the thought. The formless awareness by pervading a formed thought becomes formed awareness as it were. So, ghata kara vritti is there, nirakara chaitanyam is there, nirakara chaitanyam pervades ghata kara vritti and the chaitanyam also now appears as what? Ghata kara chaitanyam. And this ghata kara chaitanyam is called ghata jnanam. This ghatajnanam or ghatakara chaitanyam is born only when ghatavritti is born. Ghatakara chaitanyam or ghatajnanam is born only when vritti is born. And therefore we call this knowledge as vritti jnanam. So, objective knowledge is called Janya Jnanam, is called Vritti Jnanam. And objectless knowledge is called Swarupa Jnanam, which is Ajanya Jnanam. Ajanyam Nanartam, na Janyam unborn knowledge. Now here, Atma the Swarupa Jnanam, all of us already have. Atma the Swarupa Jnanam, all of us already have. And still we are samsaris. So Swarupa Jnanam is there in all people. And in spite of Swarupa Jnanam being there, people are samsaris. From there we come to know that Swarupa Jnanam cannot give liberation to people. Swarupa Jnanam cannot give happiness to people. Why? If Swarupa Jnanam can give happiness, all people must be happy. Nobody should cry. Everybody must be all the time smiling. Unji Tukralalya. So that means what? Swarupa Jnanam is not enough. Then what is required? We require some other Jnanam. That is the knowledge about my is necessary. I should have a knowledge about my Swarupam. Aham Swarupa Chaitanyam Asmi. Aham Atma Asmi. That means what? Aham Sarva Vyapi. Or definition, Nyapa Matinga. Aham Sarva Vyapi Asmi. Aham Sarvasya Adata Asmi. And Aham Sarvasya Atta Asmi. Aham Sarvada Asmi. Aham Asmi Sada Bhan. Therefore, what we require now is not Swarupa Jnanam, what we require now is Vritti Jnanam about the Atma. So, what we require is not Swarupa Jnanam, 
what we require now is vritti jnanam a janya jnanam and for that jnanam what is the vishaya what is the object of knowledge the object of knowledge is the very subject itself a subjective knowledge a knowledge for which the object is the subject adanade the na ennai pattina jnanam ennai uddeshita jnanam adu enna vada tamil la solanam so the knowledge about myself therefore when shankaracharya calls his atma bodha the word atma refers to swarupa jnanam bodah refers to vritti jnanam about the atma like ghata bodah pata bodah atma bodah means atma vishayaka janya jnanam swarupa chaitanya vishayaka vritti jnanam atma we all already have but atma bodah we all do not have and atma bodah being a janya gnanam it has to be produced by an effort and what is the means knows produces gandha vishayaka bodah each pramanam produces tat tad prameya vishayaka bodaha now here we want atma vishayaka bodaha a knowledge for which atma is the subject matter and that is going to be the job of this particular text now the question is ಆತ್ಮಬೋಧ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಚೇತನ ಆರ್ ಅಚೇತನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಲೇ ಚೇತನ ಸೊ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಚೇತನ ಅಚೇತನ ಚೇತನ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ಚೇತನ ಆರ್ ಅಚೇತನ ಚೇತನ ಸೊ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಬೋಧ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಅ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರಿ ಹೌ ದೇ ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ಬುಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಚೇತನ ಆರ್ ಅಚೇತನ ಸಂದೇಹ ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಬುಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಚೇತನ our book is in the form of words shabdatmakaha granthaha shabdam is chetanam ara chetanam shabdam achetanam sandeham avanda the one who produces shabdam happens to be chetanam but the shabda itself is a vishayah shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha all of them are achetanam only hayam granthaha shabdatmakaha this text is in the form of shabda which is achetanam and how can this achetana shabdatmaka grantha be called atma bodaha di chaitanya and for that the answer even though this is only achetana grantha this shabda atmaka grantha serves as a pramanam to produce atma bodha and since it produces atma bodha it is called atma bodha itself is not atma bodha but atma bodha janakatvat atma bodha iti gaunya vritya uchyate the grantha is not atma bodha then what does grantha do grantha produces atma bodha therefore here atma bodha means what 
ఆత్మ బోధ ప్రొడ్యూసింగ్ గ్రంథ నత సో ఆత్మ బోధ ఇత్య అర్థ ఆత్మ బోధ జనక గ్రంథ జనకే జన్య లక్షణ సో దెర్ ఫోర్ దిస్ టెక్స్ట్ ఈస్ ఏ ప్రమాణం ఆత్మ బోధ ఈస్ ప్రమా సో ది గ్రంథ ది ప్రమాణం ప్రొడ్యూసర్స్ ది ప్రమా ఆత్మ బోధ విచ్ ఈస్ కాల్ ది జన్య జ్ఞానం ఆర్ వృత్తి జ్ఞానం నౌ ది నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ వై షుడ్ శంకరాచార్య రైట్ సచ్ ఎ టెక్స్ట్ to produce the atma bodha self knowledge in our mind that alone he is going to prove in the introductory five shlokas that is in the five shlokas he introduces the main theme and purpose of the whole text and in fact the whole pursuit of human being because the most important thing before pursuing any spiritual sadhana is we should have a clear idea about what we are going to do and what is our ultimate destination you will find if you are in a place without knowing what you are supposed to do you will find you are highly restless and confused hyderabad state lacholi you can see that you are standing but you don't know what you are supposed to do anga povanama luggage ki pinnala povanama ఇంకే చేపడ పోవడమా వెయిటింగ్ రూమ్ చూడరా బస్సు ఇంగరా అది క్రాస్ పడిన ఇంగరా కాదు ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈస్ లీడర్ హింసల్ వాస్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ అదికి తాం గురు అనం సన్నా దట్ ఈస్ ఎ నాన్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్డ్ గురు ఐ మీన్ సో దేర్ ఫోర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వాట్ డూ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ది మూమెంట్ యూ కమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇదికప్పుడ ఎన్నా అదికప్పుడ ఎన్నా వాట్ ఆర్ వి గోయింగ్ టు డూ even some people are worried about what the last two, two days enga eppo eppadi poparu you know because you have come here you want to know what all things are going to happen up to reaching madras you want to know it's nothing wrong because whenever you undertake something you want to know from beginning to end every stage which is first which is last enala aduthuk porom gradu kuda vanu adile modalle edu similarly if we are going to start a spiritual sadhana remember we should have a clear idea japam gra pooja ingra padipu ingra dhyanam gra pilgrimage ingra so many things are said therefore we should have a clear picture of what is what and this is very clearly done in the introduction of all vedanta granthas and in these five shlokas the main idea conveyed is this that shankaracharya proves two or three important things the first thing is he establishes that our fundamental disease is ignorance this must be crystal clear <coughs> the diagnosis must be clear before swallowing any tablet you cannot say i will try all tablets it may create lot of problem ore dose odane close na so 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 ediyad eduthu pona you might have some person might be sulfa drug allergy ela irukengra you cannot just experiment with medicine some people have medical dictionary at home 
and they want to read that and symptoms. If you look into a medical dictionary, in fact, you will feel all symptoms there said, you will have. First, we should have a very clear picture of the disease and Shankaracharya establishes the disease is ignorance. Ignorance of myself. Ignorance of my full self. Ignorant of my complete self. As revealed by Shastra, Aham Atma Apunoti. Renda Navavutina Par Apunoti Na Sarvagataha. Par Nalamta definition ever exist jone nityam. Aham Nityaha Sarvagataha. First definition and fourth definition Navamachingo. First definition Sarvagataha. Fourth definition Nityaha. Aham Nityaha Sarvagataha. Put together Purnaha is unknown. And once Purnatvam is unknown, I have a sense of Apurnatvam. I always miss something in life. I miss people. I miss places. I miss objects. Some people may be missing madras or newspaper. Newspaper in the Missing newspaper. Or missing something. Missing is the sign of Apur Natvam. And this alone later becomes Kama, converted becomes Krodha, fulfilled becomes Lobha, <laughs> seeing somebody else become Matsarya. <laughs> These are all the derived Pandikalana. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Matsarya, they are all offshoots. They are all not diseases, they are symptoms of sense of incompleteness caused by the germ of ignorance. Ignorance virus has created the Kama Krodha flu. This is the fundamental point which is called Adhyasaha. Adhyasaha means feeling incomplete because of ignorance. This is the first fundamental thing that everybody should know. That's why all Vedantic textbook begins with Adhyasaha. Atma Bodha also begins with Adhyasaha. Brahma Sutra also begins with Adhyasa Bhashya. Yushmadasmat Pratya Gotara Yoho Vishaya Vishayana Ho Ahamidam Mamedamiti Naisargi Koyam Loka Vyavaharaha Anyonyasmin Anyonyatmakatam etc. So sense of incompleteness due to self-ignorance is the diagnosis. And once diagnosis has been made, the next thing is what? Medication. And ignorance virus can be killed by only one medicine. And that is Brahmatma Jnana Aushadham Vina. Ajnana Sarpadashtasya Atma Jnana Aushadham Vina. Na Yogena, Na Sankhena, Karmana Nona Vidyaya. Tala Hira Nunuko Unu Naraka So the tablet is Atma Jnana Aushadham. This is the first point that is being highlighted here. And then the second point is that just as any treatment requires some preparation on the part of the patient, the patient must be able to stand the treatment. Otherwise, treatment will create worse disease. It is called iatrogenic diseases. Medical I hope 
pronunciation is correct, iatro or iatrogenic diseases, means diseases caused when the doctor treats. Doctor treats for what? <coughs> for removing. When doctor begins to try the new medicine on you, see I am just joking, doctors are here, please don't mistake me. When the doctors try on you, <laughs> or they themselves are not sure and therefore they try this drug and instead of Vaitvali, Talevali also on the Vishulitana, that is called iatrogenic diseases. Similarly, here also, if I don't know what is my disease and I practice intense meditation, some people do that. I practice one hour meditation, Uru Prayodhanam Kanale, two hours, three hours, Apra Enna Chinna, Adu concentration on eyebrow. Eyes are not meant to see our eyebrows or middle. So if you try to concentrate, Naturally, it is an unnatural and abnormal pursuit and for long time you do, you end up in headache and after meditation, instead of curing the disease, it leads to some other problem. Thus, any sadhana can lead to problem if it, it is practiced without understanding. And therefore, preparation is necessary before giving the dose of medicine that's why we said anabhyase visham shastram ajirne bhojanam visham jirnam ahalayana bhojanam visham adhyate atthita bhutani Adai madri shastram if it enters into an unprepared person it will not be digested and Vedanta can create problem as Krishna said na buddhi bhedam janaye Incidentally, yesterday on the last two line of two times, Anabhyase Visham Shastram Ajirne Bodhanam Visham Visham Sabha Daridrasya For a Daridraha poor person, Sabha, an assembly of people is Visham because he feels the inferiority complex when everybody is well to do. Even here you can find all neighbors have bought color TV. Namathala matra illa na. You feel a little bit badly. Avalu kuvandi yadu vangi pornu. Namathala patham illa. So when everybody is well off, a poor person feels the inferiority complex, therefore he is said to be poison. It's an incidental thing. Okay, not relevant. But since that shloka it is said, I am just giving you. And durja nasya subhashitam visham. A dushta purushaha, you give subhashitam. That's the word So, to a dushta purusha, you give good advice. Then not only he will not listen, he will fall on you only. Anyway, that is not here the point. The idea is, anabhyase visham shastram. Shastra must be digested, which requires a mind which is fit for absorption. And that preparation is sadhana chatushtaya sampati, fit for jnanam operation. Just like before operation they do urine test, blood test, sugar rika, either rika, either rika, otherwise many operations cannot be conducted. Similarly here also, sadhana chatushtaya sampati parameters must be all, all right then alone jnanam will give the benefit. And therefore Shankaracharya begins with the preparatory step in the first shloka. And those who are prepared with these four, they are qualified to enter the jnanam which is meant to remove the ignorance. Now we will read the shloka. Tapo bhikshina papa nam Shanta nam vita raginam Mumukshu nam apexyoyam 
ఆత్మబోధో విధీయతే సో ఇన్ దిస్ లోక హీ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ది ప్రిపరేషన్స్ నెసెసరీ ఫర్ ఎ స్టూడెంట్ విచ్ వి ఆల్రెడీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ ఇన్ తత్వబోధ యాజ్ సాధన చతుష్టయ సంపత్తి what are the qualifications the first one is vivekaha which is not mentioned in this shloka but you have to understand vivekaha means what a clear knowledge of what i want and what i really don't need what i want is purnatvam what i don't want is apurnatvam this must be clear otherwise it will be like groping in darkness from one apurnam i will jump into another apurnam if one house which is apurnam cannot satisfy me another bigger house which is also apurnam cannot satisfy me but if i don't have viveka i will think that changing the house changing the people changing the job changing the dress changing various things will solve the problem this is called moodhamate you will see in the afternoon a swamiji department would to and swamiji <laughs> so first thing is i should know what i need what i want sometimes babies cry enadune theriyadu and therefore here also viveka is important i have elaborately discussed in tattva bodha i don't want to go into that then the second qualification is vairagyam which is indicated here as vita ragi vita ragi refers to the person vairagyam refers to the qualification vita or vita ragah asya asti iti vita ragi వీతరాగ అస్య అస్తి ఇది వీతరాగి వీతరాగినాం దట్ ఈస్ వీతరాగ మీన్స్ వైరాగ్యం వైరాగ్యం అస్య అస్తి ఇది వీతరాగి దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ వన్స్ ఐ నో హియర్ ఈస్ పూర్ణం అండ్ హియర్ ఈస్ అపూర్ణం naturally i have to turn my attention away from apurnam if i have to turn towards purna because you cannot turn on both sides elio he enna paathuna andu pungum paarunga paakala you cannot do that see suppose you can see this tape recorder and me because both are in the same direction apdi irundha paakala but in this case apurnatvam is on that side purnatvam is on this side they are in diagonally opposite directions and therefore a person cannot turn on both sides and therefore one has to turn away from apurna if he has to turn towards purna దూరమేతే విపరీతే విషూచి అండ్ టర్నింగ్ ఎవే ఫ్రమ్ అపూర్ణ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ వైరాగ్యం టర్నింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ పూర్ణ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ముముక్షుత్వం దట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ సెడ్ ది ఎగ్జాక్ట్ మీనింగ్స్ వీ విల్ సీ ఇన్ ది నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ హరి ఓకే